Hey, welcome back. This time we have a request from Princess, who wanted to know how to play a random sound. Um, there's various ways to do this. I'm going to show you one way which I would recommend for the exact scenario, which was uh, like one of those dolls where you pull on the cord and then you get a random sort of phrase. I don't have a, um, a doll or a pull cord uh, to hand, so we're going to use a button for this tutorial. Um, but I'll uh, show you where you need to plug in the, the, the pulling operation, and maybe I'll do a separate video on that one, because that's a divergent topic and I don't want the video to end up being too long. So we're going to do a random sound on a button. I did cover this before in a video about pick random, um, so I'll link that in the video description so you can take a look at that where I go for pick random in slightly more detail. But this one is going to be specifically how to hook up pick random to a button. So let's get started. First I'm going to show you what I'm going to make. So um, here in Smooth POV I have a play sound button and when I push this button we get a sound effect coming off the button. So that's what we're going to recreate. Let's get started. So first thing we're going to need here is some sound effects. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and spawn out some sound effects from the Neos Essentials sound effects UI folder. So that's Neos Essentials sound effects UI. So here's FX correct. Here's FX time up. And here's FX uh, wrong. So we've got three. There we go. So... They're not that imaginative, but this is a tutorial. Feel free to use your own sound effects and uh, uh, whatever you know is more appropriate for your scenario. So now we've got the sound effects, we need uh, some way to play them randomly. So what we're going to do there is hook that up. So I'm going to grab a Logix tooltip here and equip it, and I'm going to open up the Node Browser. Inside the Node Browser, we're looking for Pick Random. Now, Pick Random is slightly unusual in that it is in the root of the Node Browser. So don't go in any of the folders, it's right here. Everything here is alphabetical, so if you're lost, just think about what the first letter of the node is. So here's Pick Random, so I'm going to double trigger that, and then double trigger it in the world, and we've got Pick Random. Now, I cover this in the Pick Random video, which is linked in the video description, but whenever a uh, node starts with a pink state, so this pink color, it means tell me what data type you would like. And in this case, we want to say sound. So to do that, we're going to go to the audio folder of the Logix node menu, and we're going to select audio clip input. And then we're going to spawn in however many we need. So in this case, we need three. And now we're going to plug the top one into the top input of the pick random. So put my tip into the uh, pink, pull out a ribbon and plug it into the top. And now you'll see that the whole thing has gone pink. And so now we're going to put in the second one and the third one. Now we need to register these sound effects to these audio clip inputs. To do that, we're going to grab the sound effect so that it's on the laser. So you see it's on the laser. I'm going to put it through the card that's representing the node, the audio clip input. And then I'm going to let go of grab and you'll see it loads in. And then you say that says audio clip wrong. So we do the same with this sound effect. Put it, push it through, let go push it through, let go, and there we go. And now if I pull out this display node from the output of pick random and hit secondary, you'll see that the sound effect is changing every frame and that the name of the sound effect is just here. So you'll see it's it's pretty a blur. I'm going to delete that. That's just to show you that it's it's already basically working. Now we just need to spawn the play one shot node, which is conveniently still in the audio folder, but I won't go back to the root here. So it's inside audio and then play one shot and then just double trigger to spawn that in the world. And then um, play one shot has got a ton of inputs, but we're going to use three of them. So do bear with me. The pink one conveniently goes into the pink one at the top. And then I can actually also pull out the um, white one here and push secondary. And now you'll see that the random sound works. So I'm going to hit pulse. And you'll see that we're getting a random sound. Now, uh, do remember that random is random. So if you're expecting it to be sequential or expecting it to not play the same sound twice, don't. Random is random. Uh, if you roll a die, there is a small chance that you'll get the same uh, dice result twice. If you roll two sixes, that's perfectly fine. That's how a dice works. So uh, now all we need to do is hook this up to a button. So let's get that done. I'm going to go ahead and equip my developer tooltip here. And I'm going to move to the left a little bit here so we've got some space. I'm going to open up the uh, context menu here and hit create new object news UI button and now we've got a button and now I'm going to go ahead and inspect that button so we're going to put our laser on the button hit secondary 
open up the context menu, hit open inspector, and we've got the button here. With my logics tooltip now equipped, I'm going to go and point my laser at the word Neos button, grab it so that Neos button is here in blue, turn to some free space and push secondary, and you'll see I've now got Neos button as a logics interface card. I'm going to leave the inspector open to the left because we'll need it in a moment. But now we need to hook up the button to this pulse. To do that, we're going to use the button events node. There is a video that I have on that, but I need to update it. But I will link the existing video on it so that you can uh, learn more about the button events node if you wish. For button events, we're going to go to the root of the logics node menu and go inside interaction. And then we'll see button events here. Spawn that in the world with a double trigger. And then you'll see that this is a um, sort of grayish color and that the nearest button at the top here isn't, but don't worry about it, just plug it in. This sometimes happens. So you'll see here I've got this gray ribbon and I can plug it straight in the top here and you'll see an arrow points to it. With that done, um, all we need to do is plug the top white output that says pressed into the top of the play one shot. And now you'll see that when I push the button, we get a sound. But the sound's actually occurring from this area. So if I move this card really far away and I hit the button again, you'll see that the sound came from over there and it was less volume because I'd moved the um, play one shot node. To fix that, we're going to go ahead and plug in the third input that I talked about into play one shot, which is the green one here, which says root and it's a slot. So what we're going to do is plug in the button as the root. So I'm coming back over to my inspector here. I'm going to grab the word button here with my laser. You'll see it's in uh, blue in my hand, and I'm going to come over here and push secondary, which will spawn a slot interface card, which we can pull out a uh, name ribbon for, and push secondary to see it's the button. Here I can go to the top of the slot card, and I can drag out a ribbon from here and plug it into the root of the play one shot here. And now, when I push this button, the sound comes straight from the button and not from the card. All there's left to do is to pack, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the star, which makes a new child under the button. I'm going to rename that from button-child to button-logics. I'm going to grab that with my laser, open up the context menu and hit set packing root. Go over here, aim at any of the nodes and hold secondary. We'll pack that as well, and then we can just delete that. And we can also go ahead and delete these now, we don't need them. And we can close this. And we can also equip our developer tooltip here and go to deselect all. And now we've got a button that is nice and tidy and will play that sound. If you want to change the text on the button, just go under button, go to text, and change it to play sound. And there you go. Now it'll play a sound. That's all there is to it. I do want to unpack the logics briefly, so I'm going to equip my uh, logics tooltip, grab the button logics slot, and hit unpack. Because I want to re reiterate that you can plug any impulse into this and it will play a random sound. Any impulse. So a gun, um, falling down, down some stairs, <laughs> Uh, walking into a wall, whatever like creates an impulse can be plugged into there and lots of things within Neos create impulses so uh, take a look and feel free to plug in anything. Um, look out for more video tutorials on this subject. Um, Princess's requests were very um, numerous and so they've provided with uh, you know a lot of videos that we can make that kind of sort of act uh, and add up together into a theme which is kind of sort of this, this doll that they want that has uh, you know randomized voice lines. Uh, so that's uh, that's all for this one. I will see you next time. Please let me know if you have any questions below, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.